Hey everyone, just been working on this project here. This is a solar charging station and I have my homemade solar panels on here. This is the wood boxed one made from the wood uh, backing and, and frame. And then this one here is the glass, two pieces of glass bonded together with the solar cells inside. So I've just mounted these glass uh, panels here down to this frame and the whole thing can swing up and down on these hinges so you can adjust the angle of the panels if you want. They're actually held down by this board right now to keep them in position. So I'll just show you what's up underneath of the panels. I have all the wiring here. I've just tacked the wiring up with these little cable clips here. You can get those at the dollar store. And I have my diode here. This was just out of an alternator. It's a fairly heavy duty diode. And I have also a fuse holder. And let's pop this open. And I have a 10 amp fuse in there. I may even try to get a seven and a half or try it with a five amp fuse because these panels really don't put out that much current. And now all the plugs that I've been using and all the wire is out of old car wiring harnesses. And I have so many of these harnesses around, so I just recycle all the, the wire here. And also I've connected an inverter up just underneath the panel here to try to keep the weather off of it. And so I've connected one that directly goes over to this bank of batteries here and then the UPS is running off of this bank of batteries. So I've just added in a charge controller. This one's good for 7 amps. Um, they're about 20 bucks at Canadian Tire and it's, they're really easy to hook up and I've just hooked it into this. This is out of uh, an oven uh, and so it's easy to hook, make the connections here and what I've done is I've just changed it so I can just have a set of alligator clips or battery uh, charger clips and I can just clip onto the bank of batteries. So you can see if I disconnect then and reconnect, you can see that the controller's working and it's charging right now. Earlier on in the day it was charged. So I've also connected up a light here. You can just plug it in with this cord into the inverter. And so that, there's a fluorescent bulb in there just to cut down on, on the uh, wattage. So we'll take a look at the bottom of these panels here. So these ones, because they're the two glass uh, bonded together, basically you can just look right through them. And these ones you can tell if anything goes wrong, you can just look at the back side and you can see if a solder joint's let go or something. With this one here, you can't ever look at that. It's completely sealed. And you can see the light just goes right through them. But these do work well and they don't get as hot as this panel here. And, and I've again used the automotive plugs and recycled all these morettes out of a stove. So the whole trailer is basically just a deck. This was an old deck that I removed on a job. And you can just take a look underneath. It's just all wood construction. And I've just connected a Volkswagen axle onto the bottom. I just screwed it on with some uh, wood screws. And it just holds it on uh, well enough to move around the property or to move it into position where when the sun changes. Because throughout the year, the sun uh, its position changes so you can just move this thing around it's not completely fixed so what I've done is I've just hooked up the batteries to the solar panels and also I've connected up an old UPS unit and it's just underneath this cover here and just lift this up and there's one in there and it's just directly connected to the batteries there's no internal battery in the unit and to turn it on you just flick the switch here up and then you just press this down and then it turns on so now I've run this cord out of here and this goes into my garage so I still have a lot of work to do on this project um, I need to enclose these batteries not completely enclose them but just cover them with some metal or something like that 
to keep the, the snow off of them and the rain. And also, I'm going to do some improvements. Now, what I'm going to do is get rid of all these batteries here and switch them up with deep cycle batteries. These batteries are just automotive car for starting cars. They're not intended for uh, deep cycle use. They don't, you can't discharge them like a deep cycle battery. So these are going to be switched out. There's deep cycle batteries are what you want for this type of setup because you're going to be draining them down. Unlike these car batteries here, you, you're not, you can't drain them down too low or the battery will be destroyed. But a deep cycle battery, you can drain them down to lower voltages and then charge them back up. Unlike these batteries here. So I just picked up a battery for the system here and this is a deep cycle battery um, and this is perfect if you bought a couple of these batteries uh, to connect into your solar charging station. So if you're going to be using this on a day-to-day -day basis, you're not going to want as many batteries because you're not going to be able to charge them up. So you're better off just to have maybe two good deep cycle batteries or, or maybe four maximum. But if you're going to be going away for a week, then you could charge up as many batteries as you want. Um, you just have to calculate up that each battery you want to give at least two amps. So I'm going to do some upgrades to this, change out the batteries. I'm going to put on some better ends here. You can see all these, these ends here are not very good. I just have um, the wire wrapped around. That has to be changed. The batteries are going to be changed to deep cycle. I'll probably put maybe two or four deep cycle batteries in here. And then I'm going to build an enclosure to cover up the batteries just to maybe go over the top here and down, keep the snow out and the, and the rain and whatever. So, and also have to do something with all these wires here, tidy them up. And well, that was just a look at the trailer. Um, and I'm going to make a couple more videos on the upgrades and how this thing performs. Well, thank you for watching.